China is now kind of positioning itself as the first like global clean tech hegemon, <laughs> yeah, right? You yeah. know, like the U.S. built its empire on oil. You know, uh, Britain built it on coal, <laughs> right? And and China's going to build it on clean energy technologies. And and because of trade barriers, which are only getting higher, it's very difficult for them to sell those products in the U.S. and Europe. Um, but, and so, but, where but are they going to go to expand actually, that market? Yeah. Developing countries. Yeah. And you know what? I mean, if that's what makes clean energy cheap and accelerates decarbonization around the world, then like that is the most important climate trend in the world right now, probably. Yeah, you I know, far we... more important than what's happening in the U.S. And that's a positive silver lining to all this that I think could, you know, could play out. Now, as an American, that has very serious implications for the influence of the United States and, you know, sort of broader uh, role of, uh, of democracies in the world. But, you know, from a climate perspective, that's what success looks like. It looks like cheap solar, wind, batteries, EVs, you know, two wheel e electric vehicles going, becoming the cheapest way to power development and, you know, get mobility services and get lighting and, and you know, power industry in Sub-Saharan Africa and Southeast Asia and, and everywhere else.